Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are watching the 100. This episode 13 of the third season. Hopefully, guys have been enjoying it so far. And if you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. And if you've not yet voted for your most liked and disliked characters of the season, it is also available in the link in the description. It takes 30 seconds, and at the end of the season, your results of mine will be shown in the final episode. So thank you for everybody taking part. Last episode, interesting. To be honest, this season, there's been quite a lot of deaths, hasn't there? You know, I think it's been pretty good. So we've had Lexa who died. That was that was really shocking. We've had a couple of people obviously die sporadically from, like, different, you know, factions, so to speak. You know, like, Amori's brother, he's died. You know, we've had the person that she ended up killing when she was trying to steal the chips. Do you know what I mean? We had... Um, Lincoln, he's been killed. Last episode, we had Sinclair. He's died. We've had massacres of the grounders be killed as well. So, I mean, it's been a mad season, to be honest, in terms of deaths. They've been coming thick and fast. Now, I'm interested to see if Pike actually gets sentenced to death when he gets taken back, you know, to the capital and what's going to happen with him. But last episode, it was very, very good because, obviously, we was here at the Ark and Emerson come and he was trying to take down everybody. You know, he was infiltrating them. He was trying to get his revenge. You know, he grabbed them. He took everybody out. He tied them all up. He wanted clark to come and surrender herself and then obviously after she did surrender herself he was trying to make her watch while everybody was being killed pretty much put them in the airlock taking out the oxygen and his reasoning for it was simple okay you may think that we're all even stevens we're all good because you saved my life at the um, you know at the capital but no chance you as part of uh you know the people that killed everybody inside of mount weather you was the one that made uh my two children die made my brother die and do you think i'm just gonna let that slide no chance mate i'm coming back and i'm gonna revenge them now very interestingly clark on the last legs thought of one final thing that could save everybody's life as he took the little chip out and boom injected it inside of his neck and we've been told a few times this season already that if you are not a nut bleeder do you know what i mean like if you put the chip inside somebody just standard then it'll kill them and that is true i actually wanted to see it actually happen because sometimes it's just all talk you never actually know but no we did get it she was literally about to die herself while he was like pretty much had her in a headlock squeezing it as they was dying inside there and she pulled it out put it in his neck and he died he see you should have seen him mate literally it was crazy he fell on the floor obviously they've extracted the chip he's put it back in the box now they're off and they're on their merry way they need to find luna but they kind of split the camp so obviously like going with them it seems like it's bellamy clark jasper and uh octavia they've gone and then obviously back here at the uh at arcadia we've kept monty ja um sorry we kept monte raven uh miller uh miller's boyfriend and harper it looks like they're staying there to defend it she was saying raven because she's really smart that obviously Halle at one is going to need to be taken down at some point now her cold is going to be in the mainframe and she'd be able to hack it and get it now monty's there as well he's probably trying to do whatever he can to try and save his mum or speak to her again it's going to be interesting to see how he plays out with that one but obviously they're on their way to get luna um so i thought that was interesting and then in terms of being in the capital we've seen it you know jack is there sozamori they've taken the chip they've taken it to the new commander she's taking it as well because obviously um she doesn't really feel like she's a commander yet she's not really in no position of power she feels lost she doesn't know how to recite the ritual to that give her the full-on control and we ended the episode with obviously jahra on one side her on the other and then boom mate who was sat in the middle that's right ali one mate so she was sat on the throne as the episode ended so very very interesting can't wait to see where that goes thanks for checking out today's video if you do enjoy it please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> It's definitely different to when Lexa was in charge. Look at it. About what I expected. Those aren't necessary. This man belongs to the commander. Right, it looks crazy, doesn't it? Loose him out. Proper crazy. Unit. Like you always wanted. Everyone back away or the commander dies. Thank God. <gasps> Join us, Charles, please. Nah, he's not you taking it. Know. There's no way in hell I'm taking that thing. You are still experiencing a 3% rejection rate. 3%? That means 97% of the people that you're going to. Well, good. Sorry, but 97 people out of 100. 
that are taking that chip, I would say that's a massive successful rate. Honestly, it really, really is. If you think about it, so what's that, 9, 18, 27? Add another, what is it, 7, 14, 21? Do you know what I mean? What's that, 291 people to every six? Uh, no, nine. That's mad. Do you know what I mean? 291 people on your side to nine against it. If you was doing it, you know, in like in threes, I, I, it's, it's crazy. Like, honestly, that is a very, very good number. Now, Clark, I mean, um, Abbe, she's going to try and persuade him, isn't she? They kind of kissed. They kind of got a little thing going on. She didn't really want to take it. She was forced. You know what I mean? Like, she had to do it to save Raven's life. But if they want people to take it who are reluctant to do it, just pin them down and just shove it in the mouth. It's not even hard. Like, literally, like, there's no resistance when multiple people are holding you back. Chancellor, what is all this? What I'm about to tell you is classified. I need you to teach a crash course in wilderness survival. Can I ask why? We're sending them to the ground. I'm only telling you what you need to know, Charles. Nothing more. Look, I've, I've taught most of these kids already, or, or tried to. They're not exactly receptive learners. It's a leap of faith, Charles. Take it with us. Got Murphy strolling in. Jasper with his goggles. Hey, look, Harper. He's the underground girl. Welcome to Earth Skills. Running out of daylight. We should stop the sun, recharge the battery. Oh, oh, it's electric with solar panels. Hey, yes, we're going on foot. Lincoln did say that they, they live near the river or something, didn't he? He did say that. It's on the drawing. <laughs> What's wrong with it? That's what I wanted to do when Lincoln got shot. That's what I wanted. <laughs> You know, that was interesting, that. Now, I don't understand why they're that mad. Like, they found a location that's actually on his drawings, unless I'm totally missing something. Surely that shows that they're kind of going and heading in the right direction. But then again, it's interesting um, that the little backstory there that we're seeing on the arc, and I can't believe that it's only literally been six months since they sent the first hundred down to the Earth. So much has happened in that short period of time. I know that, obviously, like... It's it's a show, but we're three seasons in, and I don't know. Like I, ex I always just think now we're like we we move on rapid, but we don't. Literally, we don't. Like, I, it's, it's crazy to think of all those deaths, all those wars, all the relationships forged. Do you know what I mean? Like in such a short time, that is that is crazy. Honestly, it really, really is. But it's mad what's happened there at the Capitol. Have you seen how many people are taken over by that chip? It, it's mental. She's literally taking over the world <laughs> like the world as we know it anyway I i'm excited to see how they all die pretty much like how they all lose the at the same time do you know what i mean like there's got to be something that happens a cold or something that raven's gonna do that shuts the system down and they all just like fall do you know what i mean and, to, and then reboot again back as themselves it is pretty exciting difference between life and death miss blake the key to survival on earth what is it do whatever it takes not dying the key to surviving on the ground and on the ark is to keep fighting i'll survive yeah i'll survive so far and he's been in some sticky situations let's be honest what it is it's do whatever it takes that's what it is who's ready to take the key what are the odds you killed me on that battlefield? Yes. I won't make the same mistake. Yes. Go, go kill him, Indra. Now you'll take 300 cuts by my hand. Get on with it. Hey, that's how you take it. Who's going to keep count of them? <laughs> that's my Indra. Get in there. He took it like a champ, though. You little ledge. I can't even look at you. Because every time I do, you see me fall. You didn't take my help. If you had just trusted me, I... It's a tough one, that. It's nothing to do with Octavia. He was making poor decisions at the start of the season. Signal fire. He was trying to tell us. I'll get more. Do 
though I've got to say, I think that I, I do think the costume design's pretty good on this, or the makeup artist, whatever you want to call them. Like, everybody always looks banged up, like, every episode, somebody's eye is, like, red, or, like, half it's bruised, or... I mean, how, how many episodes has Murphy had his face cut up? Every single person's got some sort of mark, cut, bruise. Even, yeah, the... The Ice Nation, they might not have cuts, but they have scars. They have all these carvings in them. Do you know what I mean? The tattoos being consistent. Like, there's a lot of detail that goes into it. They could easily just keep everyone chilling and just a little bit muddy. Do you know what I mean? But no, mate, they go all in. Everybody's got cuts, scratches, and bruises. They found me hiding in the woods near the camp. Tell me you know where Clark is. No, I thought she was here. He's telling the truth. She has something that they want. If Antari is right. And Clark finds another Nightblood, she'll be able to activate the other AI. Try harder. Oh, I feel sorry for Kane in that situation because when you find out you're being used like that, it's not good, is it? Don't feel right. I like it. He knows. You're taking the chip. <laughs> Put him on the cross. How hard is it to stick the chip in his mouth? Oh. Oh, they're ruthless, them, aren't they? He's selling it really well. No, you've sold it really well there, Kane. I'll tell you what, right? That world that they live in currently in is way worse than the, the world with Lexa just being in charge. That alley's literally destroying it. Everybody looks crazy. It doesn't even look like a good place to be. Do you know what I mean? It just looks dark and gloomy. He sold that really well. Do you know what I mean? Like, the pain. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Kane sold that. And when Raven was going through her own mental trauma, she sold it again. Like, sometimes stuff happens and you're like, mate, you should be screaming or you should be crying or, do you know what I mean? You should be running. And people don't act the way you should be. And then other times you're like, that, that's good. You're making me believe that you're actually suffering. And that's what he's just done there. I came here to fix things. On head of the peacemaker. came to see if you're okay. Well, I don't need your help. Give her time. Eleanor. Yeah. No one's ever lost. There may be blood on your hands, but it's not Lincoln's. The question is, will you forgive yourself? Forgiveness is hard for us. I'm so angry at you for leaving. I don't want to feel that way anymore. What we're doing now, the only way we're going to pull this off is together. Yo, that is what I'm talking about, mate. Oh, that was decent. John, you be like. They lack Octavia. Come Sky Crew. And the gaff go through clear. Bringers of death. Why should we give you safe pass? Lincoln. I need Mogagawi. Unleash Momokawa. Bottoms up. Octavia, wait! She believes in Lincoln, man. I trust Lincoln. Only Obvious. Drinks. Only she goes. Flag you don't you don't. That's really interesting. They look really good coming out of the water. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, respect to Octavia. She trusts in Lincoln. It was so obvious that she was going to take it first. And Lincoln wouldn't send them there if he knew that, you know, they was going to be in danger. So she took the risk. I know it's hard to judge it. It's hard to trust it. But, you know, when you got your love and faith in somebody, you believe that they're going to do everything they can to protect you. And he wouldn't send them there knowing that it's going to be a bad place to go. So, you know, it's going to be good now to see what actually happens and how big... This little, I don't know, tree ground crew. I don't even know what you would call them. Sea crew are going to be. I'm oh, sorry to hear about your son's arrest. You don't want him telling the others that the Ark is dying. The only thing that makes sense. Why else would you send kids and not scientists? They don't care. So they don't learn. They don't pay attention because they don't think they have a reason to. No, I agree with him, man. They should know. Because they're not going to take it serious, not going to listen, they're just going to piss around, and if they know the lives on the line, they'll take note. All of you will be glad to know that we are officially done talking about birth skills. How would you feel about assisting me with today's lesson? Sign me up. Go on, me if I have a swing. Mother drank herself to death after father was floated for stealing medicine to save you. <laughs> Wants him to defend himself. What did he just hit him with, Dan? This is graduation. Congratulations. 
Class dismissed. Strong, we need him if we're gonna fight our way out of here. Listen to me! Our real enemy is out there. Ja has an army of chipped soldiers. They don't feel any pain. Do you want your revenge? Or do you want your people to live? Uh, that's a tough one, that, ain't it, mate? He's fucking got her there. Both. I'll get my revenge. <laughs> I hope you do, mate. I've got to admit, Pike is strong, though. They do need him to get out of this. They actually do. This is a first episode song, isn't it? The chemicals. <gasps> That's when they got off the ship. Tell him he looks mad, me. Honestly, he does. I won't get the answer. Shoot, uh, ah, they're gonna shoot Abbe. <laughs> it's so obvious you do it every time, man. I'll do it. It's just the same. Same tactic works every time. Wait, these episode one flashbacks are mad, mate. They all look mad. Is she gonna say no? No. Oh, do you want a big massive oil rig? That's where they are, they're in the middle of the sea. Oh, they are mooches away, mate, aren't they? There's no way that they're getting attacked out there. They're miles out into the sea. Now, it's interesting because obviously she said that she would swore to never kill again, which gives me hope if I was them that I'm not getting killed. You know what I mean? That's the first takeaway I would get from that. Like, yo, if she's vowed to never kill, Hopefully, I'm going to be okay. Now, another interesting thing is, obviously, like, I knew that she wasn't going to take it straight up just then because she fled the first time. She didn't want to be the leader, did she? And that's why Alexa kind of got it. She didn't die in battle to try and become the commander. But now she's the last one. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. Clark's got to give a good, I don't know, plea for her to take it. But look at Kane there. He's took the pill at the end. Can you blame him? No, you can't. Again, I can't be hypocritical and say, yeah, you can, because he's done it to save somebody that he loves. The same way that Abby done it to save Raven. It's it's tough, and it works every time. That little play that they do there, like, you could do a good cop, bad cop in film, so to speak. That's not good cop, bad cop. That is just literally... People, most people would rather die themselves than let, like, a loved one get killed. You know what I mean? So, like, for example, if you was a parent and you ki and someone come up to you and said, gun to your head, yeah? Someone's definitely dying. It's either you or your kid who you're picking. Most parents and that would pick themselves. And it's just like here in these situations, okay? He would rather do something that saves the life of his friend slash loved one than just be reluctant to not take part and let her die. So... It, it works. It does. It happens every time. They'll get it. it it's, it's pretty much a straight winner. Like, so, I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting to see. One thing that I've got to say that's... Would I say disappointing? Yeah, go on. I'll use the word disappointing. Is we haven't seen anybody living in the City of Light. Not one thing. We've seen about three conversations stood there looking at this amazing city and nobody doing anything inside the actual world. I would have loved the whole episode about people once they're there because they've got a whole army of it now i don't even know what you would call it there's hundreds of people that have taken that chip who are there in the city of light what type of life are they having what are they doing where else we see them in the present is sat chill and zen and they're on the floor and it looks such gloomy and shitty places like they must be having a great time somewhere else do you know what i mean like i said 
the film if you've not seen it ready player one when they go into it they put their vr headset on they go into the other realm do you know what i mean the world that they're living in is terrible but they put it on buff going to the oasis best world ever live a new life and i want to see what they're doing on that side and how their life has been improved we're told that it's consistently better but how is it what are they doing how is it benefiting them being there and uh, do you know what i mean i would like i said love to have a whole episode with it but again like i said it is interesting She's acquiring up everybody. She said she's got a 97% success rate. That means only 3% out of, you know, 3% out of the 100. Even you do 100 people, only 3 people rejecting it. And then when you put the lives on the line of somebody else, bang, you get somebody like Kane taking it. So now you've got 98% of people. Do you know what I mean? Like, the, the, there's going to be very little people that she's going to be able to take on board. But again, she's still searching. And she ain't never getting that over there anyway. I am i wouldn't believe it. The only way I would believe... Well, the drones can find them on the oil rig. But how they're getting out there, I would never believe. I would never believe that her and a little army are strong enough to go out into the sea, collectively together, in what? Canoes? And You know what I'm saying? How are they getting out there to actually get Ali 2? I can't see it happening. So it is going to be interesting. And we see nothing in Arcadia. And... Um, you know, them trying to, to hack into the system to do the coding. And I expected that. I actually expected this episode to not even vastly have much of Clark and Bellamy in it. I thought it was going to be totally in the capital, which it mainly was. But I did enjoy it again. It's it's not like fast paced, but it's kind of like information building. And most of it is pretty interesting, if I'm being honest. I just... Me, my, my, my annoying characters... <sighs> me, I... Like halfway through the season, I thought, oh, definitely, I've got my most dislikes. That uh, nobody's changing it, and then the slow the season's gone on. This, there's a few building, and so like I'm gonna be excited to see your results at the final, you know, in the final episode. As well as mine, because I've still not decided yet who who it is that I'm picking as my most dislikes. I've got a couple more to go without the finale because we do it just before to decide, but. Yeah, it's interesting. Many people are contending for it this season. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And if you still not vote for your most likely dislike characters of this season, please do get voting. The link is in the description, and your results and mine will be shown in the final episode. And like I've just been saying there, many contenders for my most dislike this season. Many, many contenders. Now, I'm excited to see, obviously, what's going to happen with Luna and them on this place where they've just been taken to. Clark obviously has got the key. They need her to actually take it. She's the last nut bleeder. She knows that obviously Lex is dead for the fact that obviously Clark's here and she knows that's a sacred symbol. So she's not actually chatting. Now, Lincoln's dead. She looked like she's a little bit disappointed with that. I'm surprised that she didn't react in a different way, maybe blaming them. Uh, but I thought it was really interesting the way they come out of the water. They all looked really, really good. And I like the way he had that little thing in his book as well and obviously threw it on the fire and it showing it was green. It was kind of like showing the symbol, calling for them. And, uh, you know, I thought it was pretty clever. And it was obvious that Octavia was first to take it. You know, she's got a faith in Lincoln. She knows that she's not going to put him in any danger. And especially taking to this place here, and you've heard that she's vowed to never actually kill people, that you know you're kind of pretty much safe. Now, getting back to shore, that's going to be another thing. If you want to leave, who's going to take you? You look like you're absolutely miles out. Now, Ali, her army's building massively, isn't it? You know, um, everybody's kind of getting on board now. Even if it's willingly or reluctantly, it's uh, the it's gaining some some strength. It's getting some big people from the arc on there. If you look at it now, Jahar, Abi, and Kane, all of the big uh, players, uh, they've all taken it, and some of them have forcibly been taken, uh, been made to take it as well. Now, I do agree with what Murphy was saying when Indra was slashing um, Pike up all over the place. Now, I do believe that Indra should be able to get revenge and kill him. He needs to pay for his sins, pretty much. Um, but again, you could say you're a bit of a hypocrite there because Bellamy should. And do you know what? Bellamy should actually pay for his sins as well. You know, he's not a saint in any of it. I just think that he was pushing his agenda, Pike, and because of the execution of Lincoln, like, I would pick him to, to die. Uh, but if he didn't die and he, he got kind of like brutally tortured probably would accept that as well and i do believe that he is going to be one of the key reasons why they actually break free and actually i don't know get out of being in the position they are in now Indra was saying she wants both she wants to save her people and she wants to get revenge and i do agree with her in, uh, on that one i just think that a wise person 
a smart person like injuries and obviously murphy was the one that was seeing it is that he is so strong and like they need him he that the enemy's currently out there even though he's the enemy in here as well with them they've got one common enemy it's the same with mount weather do you know what i mean whether you liked the arc um you know the sky crew and whether you liked the tree crew and you didn't really want to be in some sort of like union you both had a common enemy in mountain men and you both teamed up to take that out and it's the same here you really dislike him for what he's done to you but right now there's a bigger player in the game and you have to work together collectively to take them out before you could turn and look at each other so even though she's got a bit of i don't know self-satisfaction she feels like she's got a bit on him you know left a, a few scars a few marks knowing that obviously she's going to come back and try and get him again uh he might have helped her mentally a little bit but i'm glad that she left him to stay alive he thought that you know whatever murphy was done it was due to him on the arc teaching him the lessons and but maybe 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 it was again the interesting story with the arc um i do like the flashbacks you can tell it's a cw episode or c company whatever um because they always have like flashback things if you look at arrow they had it a lot um and um if you look at like legacies and stuff they always have some sort of like backstory and I do, I do enjoy them it's really good it's good fillers for the episode because it gives you i don't know a bit more background and characters you kind of understand people a little bit more um and again i think pike i don't like him to be fair i, I don't like pike but I, I do like some of the stuff that he does and i do think keeping him alive is going to help them take um you know take the fight to everybody now i do want him to actually die at the end of the season i don't know i early run the season i did but then now i'm just like whatever Inja wants to do do you know what i mean like whatever if she, if she wants to keep going after him go after him if she wants to let him go let him go i just don't want him to be in charge of everybody i want kane to actually be the leader i feel like he's done really well even though he's took that but he had to take it again to save somebody that he loves so very interesting army's building clark's met luna she's refused it you know lots of stuff's going on i still want to see an episode of um, um is it monty and them um, monty raven trying to crack the code and see if they can hack into ali one and see if they can cause some sort of uh damage towards her. we have seen raven use her strength mentally a couple of uh for a couple of seconds when she was trying to block her out when he was at arcadia and it worked and they phased her out and then she come back in and she ali herself was like wow she's strong now i kind of thought that that's what was going to happen with maybe someone like abby and now possibly kane but I don't know we haven't seen anybody actually do that we've just seen it actually just dominate everybody and acquire more and more and more so i'm excited to see who the first person that actually breaks free is actually gonna be hopefully you enjoyed today's episode if you did please smash like really helps out subscribe if you do and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys